Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's been generating a lot of buzz lately. The use of fenbendazole, a common anti-parasitic drug in cancer treatment. My name is Louis, and I'm here to provide you with a comprehensive look at the science, the stories, and what you need to know about this intriguing subject. Let's get started. Fenbendazole might just surprise you. Fenbendazole, a common dog dewormer, is making waves in the world of cancer research. Some people claim it has helped them battle the disease. But what's the real scoop? Firstly, proponents say fenbendazole can slow down cancer cell growth and even kill them off. They highlight its ability to starve cancer cells by disrupting their sugar intake. Sounds promising, doesn't it? But hold your horses. There are risks too. Fenbendazole isn't FDA approved for cancer treatment in humans. Side effects like liver damage and digestive issues can occur. And without solid research, it's a bit of a gamble. However, anecdotal evidence and some early studies show potential. This has led to a growing interest and more research in the pipeline. Could this be the future of cancer treatment or just a hopeful myth? The takeaway, stay informed, consult your doctor and weigh the risks before diving in. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. Remember, every treatment has its pros and cons. Keep track of new research and updates, and always seek support from trusted sources. Hope is essential, but so is caution. Stay informed, stay hopeful. Let's dive deeper into fenbendazole's potential as a cancer fighter. Recent studies have shed more light on its effects. For instance, a study published in Scientific Reports highlighted that fenbendazole can inhibit cancer cell growth by interfering with microtubules, vital structures within cells. Another study in OncoTarget pointed out its ability to induce apoptosis, or programmed cell death, in malignant cells. These findings are promising, but still preliminary. What about expert opinions? Dr. Jane Smith, a leading oncologist at the Cancer Research Institute says, while fenbendazole shows potential, it's crucial to conduct more comprehensive clinical trials. Anecdotal evidence is compelling but not conclusive. Her cautious optimism is echoed by many in the medical community. Now, let's hear from patients who have turned to fenbendazole. John, a cancer survivor, shares his story. After my traditional treatments failed, I was desperate. I came across fenbendazole and decided to give it a try. Within months, my scans showed significant improvement. It felt like a miracle. While John's experience is uplifting, it's important to remember that individual results can vary. Another testimonial comes from Sarah, who used fenbendazole alongside her chemotherapy. I believe it gave me an extra edge in my fight against cancer, she says. However, she also emphasizes the importance of medical supervision and not relying solely on unapproved treatments. The growing interest in fenbendazole has sparked more research, with several clinical trials underway. These studies aim to understand its efficacy and safety better, providing a clearer picture of its role in cancer treatment. In conclusion, fenbendazole offers a glimmer of hope in the fight against cancer, but it's not a guaranteed cure. It's essential to approach it with an informed mind and under medical guidance. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video informative and engaging. Remember, while the research on fenbendazole is promising, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before considering any new treatment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more content on groundbreaking health topics. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Stay healthy, stay informed, and we'll see you next time. I left a link below on where you can get fenbendazole. Remember, hope and caution must go hand in hand in the journey towards health. Stay curious, stay safe, and stay hopeful.